Alright, hi everyone. Today I'm going to go through the topic of materials and uh, in, particular, in particular, I'm going to look at the open-ended section on the Vitamize worksheet. Okay, some of the common errors that I've noticed uh, when I was, uh, was marking your work. Okay, on this first question, the worksheet 1. Okay, most of you are able to classify the man-made objects as well as the natural objects. But I think some of you may not uh, be able to uh, answer the second part which asks us to name another way that we can further group the materials that are natural. So looking at the naturals, you realize that as I went through in class, I asked you to write A and P to name uh, those things that are uh, from uh, that comes from plants as well as come from animals. So that's a very important uh, thing about uh, natural objects. Natural objects, we can classify them uh, from where they come from and they will be from plants or they're from animals. For example, we get uh, wool. Wool, we get it from animals, we get it from sheep. Okay, whereas for wood or for rubber, we can, uh, wood, we can of course get it from trees. Rubbers, uh, rubber, sorry, rubber, we can get it from the rubber tree as well. Okay, so this will be for worksheet one. On to worksheet two. Okay, most of you are able to do this question for A and part B. Part A, part B is alright. Part C. Okay, so now this is the question about you having uh, five uh, coins versus one uh, five dollar notes. So which one is better? Obviously, you, you can now... Uh, you physically you can hold them in your hands and realize that uh, many people they do not like to bring so many coins with them it's because coins are coins are a lot heavier yes that's right some of you just wrote, just wrote that the coins are heavy okay I would not accept this uh, because right here we are comparing two different things we are comparing the, the notes as well as the coins so when you're comparing two things you need to use a comparative adjective heavy heavier, light, lighter, tall, taller, okay, short, shorter, okay, we have to compare the two, we have to compare the two different kind of objects and we need to use the correct adjectives to describe them. Okay, on to worksheet 3, okay, worksheet 3, this big word, this advantage in the part B, Okay, many, um, many of you do not quite understand what does it mean by disadvantage. Disadvantage means that what is not so good. Advantage versus disadvantage. Disadvantage means that what is not so good about this thing. What is the disadvantage of uh, having aircon in the classroom? You say that, oh, it uses a lot of electricity. It uh, is not so environmental friendly. Okay, but when we look at the advantage, the advantage would be that uh, of course we can feel much cooler in the classroom we can uh, feel uh, it's more comfortable in the classroom so that's what's so good disadvantage means not so good okay in this case having uh, the the different apparatus made of glass we find that uh, the main disadvantage is that glass actually breaks easily so glass uh, is not that strong okay many of you also missed out this part glass will not melt easily when placed over a fire so many of these apparatus, for example, the conical flask, sometimes we need to boil some of the chemicals or the boil the water. So this material must be able to stand the heat so that it will not melt easily. Can you imagine if I'm uh, boiling some water and it starts to melt? Obviously, that's not going to be such a pleasant sight, right? Okay, let's move on to worksheet 4. Ah. Part A, most of you are able to sort out the different things into the different um, different categories. For example, you have your torn envelope, it goes into the paper category. For the can, you go into the metal category, and so on and so forth. Some of you got stumbled by the empty drink carton. Yes, you may say that, oh, the outer is, there's a plastic layer, that's why it doesn't, um, we are able to hold water in it. Yes, it is partly true, but the main question is that uh, it has this, it is mainly made up of this material. Yes, it's mainly made up of paper. It is actually a rather strong cardboard. Okay, so I'll put it in uh, dustbin W when I'm recycling this. Okay, the other thing, part B, yes. So now you have this Berina container. Okay, it's like a Ribena packet drink, right? So you have the plastic screw cap and you have the the paper 
uh, container. So now, out of these four different dustbins, which one will you place it in? You cannot just place it in one. Uh, one of the containers, you should actually separate them. So you take out the plastic screw cap, put it into plastic. That will be dustbin Y. Paper, it goes into dustbin W. Okay, another good way for you uh, when you face this kind of questions, uh, whether to check whether it is, uh, whether this you have answered the question completely. Maybe you can look at the marks as well. It says two marks, so it shouldn't be that simple as in a one, one word answer usually okay usually there are two parts to this uh this kind of question so look at the marks as well if it's just a one mark question then perhaps maybe it might not it might just ask about which uh which dustbin would you place the container with paper or made of paper so in that case if i know that uh just asking for this part uh regarding the paper container so i'll put it in the dustbin for paper w all right so I'll give you another uh, example for example um, shoes okay shoes so uh, our shoes you know uh, especially i have shown you guys sorry i gotta show you my shoe here okay my shoe you realize that there are the metal metal parts of the shoe as well as a cloth as well as a rubber so now if i'm able to remove these metal eyelets of my shoe i can place it into dustbin x if I have a uh, which other parts paper and plastic I cannot find any so if I were to dispose this shoe this rubber and this cloth I will put it into dustbin Z do you get that correct so you see that uh, uh, even a single item that we have around us it may be made of different material just like uh, for example even for our watches you realize that uh, there are metal parts there are plastic parts as well so, so many of the items around us are made up of more than one materials. Okay, last but not least. Yes, the baby bottle. So plastic versus glass. Okay, for glass, uh, obviously, mm, it's, uh, it's very transparent. But for plastic, it can be transparent as well. Many of you gave the answer for part B. As in, it is transparent or you say that it is waterproof. But that is not the case just for plastic glass is transparent glass is trans uh is waterproof as well so that may not be the best answer so in this case the best material uh, let me just write this down first plastic the two reasons okay plastic is definitely will you, if you drop it on the floor would it break easily no compared to glass okay so i would say that uh plastic in this case, if it doesn't break easily, plastic is strong. Is that good enough? Do you spot any mistake? Yes, stronger. Okay, it's stronger than what? Than glass. Okay, and if you add on it and it, so it does not break easily, that's okay as well. Doesn't break easily and strong, it means the same thing. Okay, and part two. Now, Comparing the weight of it all, okay, you have a plastic, you have glass, you compare the weight, you realize that which one is lighter. Uh -huh. And then we'll have plastic is generally lighter than glass. Okay, some of you mentioned that about uh, plastic being toxic and all this, but that is not the main property uh, properties that we have a uh, we have learned in this topic on materials okay so now part x the the tip of the milk bottle or uh, it will be made of rubber and so what is the main property of rubber important property you realize that the the mouth of the baby will go over the rubber tip and um the the baby will find that uh you need to uh drink the milk from there and realize that the as the as the baby uh, bites on this this part, it needs to be it's, it needs to be able to bend easily without breaking. In that case, it will be the important property is flexible. Another answer which I've accepted is that it must not be able to break easily, so it must be strong as well. So both flexible and strong is acceptable. Okay.
So that's all for this uh, topic on materials. Okay, realize that uh, other than uh, uh, materials, we also need to revise on the topic of diversity. So even over the long weekend, uh, you find that you have a little bit of time, uh, you can start to uh, go and look at uh, the vitamins diversity on the living things and non-living things so go and revise on what the different living things non-living things as well as the fungi uh, make sure that you know uh, what how do they reproduce whether they, they are, whether they need uh, they are flowering plants or non-flowering plants so on and so forth all right that's all for this um, this uh, little video on uh, vitamized materials see you next time